Out we go uh, to today's forecast. We're talking about daytime highs today in the mid to upper 30s to near 40 degrees. So it's going to be a nice day today. So to no weather woes today. As a matter of fact, it's a beautiful start out there with uh, mostly clear skies. This really is going to be a beautiful sunrise this morning. Our Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar scan in the state dry. We have two storm systems that are getting ready to roll into the state. One is the weaker of the two. That comes in tomorrow night through Friday. Could have an inch or two or three of snow on the ground by the Friday morning commute, changing over to rain as we move through the day on Friday. Clearing Friday afternoon and then Friday evening and Saturday for the most of the day looking good. Then the second storm rolls in Saturday night and that is a more substantial system. Snow starts Saturday night and it continues through early Sunday morning. There could be a heavy burst of snow from Saturday night through early Sunday morning, then changing over to a period of ice an icy mix through the morning on Sunday until the late morning and then everybody goes over to rain Sunday during the day and then as colder air starts wrapping in the result of the storm system making an exit late in the day on Sunday it could end as a period of snow and then I'll show you all that coming up in just a second in the meantime mostly clear and cold this morning Friday storm it comes in the morning, Thursday night through Friday. That's the first storm. The second storm comes in Saturday night through Sunday. So a one two punch as we move through the day today. The temperatures will climb nicely into the upper 30s for inland Connecticut and possibly near 40, 41 degrees for the shoreline under partly to mostly sunny skies. Look at that 39 degrees. That's above average by about five to six degrees, which is good news. All right, let's check in with our temperatures right now. 14 in Willamette. The numbers are all over the place. You go to Willamette, it's 14, but you head to Norwich is 24, 16 in Meriden, yet 24. Uh, Brainerd. So again, pick your town, pick your temperature. Everybody needs the winter coat out there though this morning. And the winds are fairly calm, so not a whole lot of wind chill, but even a gentle breeze will make it feel a little bit cooler out there. It feels like it's in the mid to upper teens and low 20s. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. Awesome. Isn't it's that pretty spectacular? That is spectacular just absolutely right. spec. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's just amazing. Look at that, New London, equally as nice there. Just really, really beautiful eye cam shots. Our regional radar, dry satellite and radar, just a little so whiff of clouds out there, just making for a beautiful sunrise. And according to early morning futurecast tomorrow's weather today, this is 745 Thursday night. We're good until then, mostly cloudy skies. Here comes the snow. This is midnight Thursday, tomorrow night into early Friday morning. And then that snow continues changing over to rain. This is Friday morning at 7 a.m., so a mix of precipitation for Friday morning's commute. Then that leaves us, and then we need to concentrate on storm number two. So once again, 7 p.m. on Thursday, this is the European model. Snow breaks out for the Friday morning commute, changing over to rain. That system makes an exit, and then here comes storm number two. Saturday, we're good during the day. This is very early Sunday morning. Saturday night into Sunday morning, snow, which could be moderate to heavy, changing over to ice and then plain rain as the day wears on on Sunday. Now this is Sunday afternoon around noon. There could be heavy rain in the state, which could lead to localized flooding. And then the storm system makes an exit, pulls colder air back in, and we are dealing with snow at the uh, tail end of the system as well. So it's a, it's a kind of a crazy storm. All right, highs today in the uh, upper 30s to near 40. A beautiful day of weather today. Get out there and enjoy it. And then your seven day forecast includes a much colder day tomorrow as the front moves through later this afternoon. That'll allow for some colder air to come pouring in. That sets the stage for that uh, little bit of snow Thursday night through Friday morning, changing over to rain. Saturday, we get a break. And then Saturday night through Sunday, that's when the precipitatory mess begins. Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, 20 degrees with wind chill values below zero. It's going to be a windy and a very cold day. Tuesday, a high of only 24, also breezy and very, very cold.